Welcome back to another video. This will be a follow up for Shape Sculptor. And we're going to see how Float Select works and also Inverse Select. So, within my previous videos, I discuss the other features. So, let's take a look at Float Select. We see that the hotkey is Ctrl plus A. So, this is the standard hotkey to select everything in a wide variety of. Uh, solutions, 3D modeling solutions. So the flood select, as we can see, when we activate it, it will turn orange, just like other Katia V5 features. And if I'm going to check on the bottom left of the screen, we see that we can select a triangle from a region to flood. So that means I will just need to position onto the 3D scan. The 3d mesh and if you're going to click it once everything will be selected that will be joined together with that uh, mesh for example if i will bring in another model so this was the baby yoda let me just open the makita case as well and see how that flood all will work we see the baby Yoda is quite small in comparison to this. I will just move the Makita mesh. Okay, now let's take a look at the flood tool. So I'm going to go flood select. If I will select the Makita, we will see that everything regarding the point cloud for Makita. So in this case, not point cloud, since it's already a mesh, we have that uh, generated will be selected. If I'm going to hold down control, that means that I want to add to the selection. If I'm going to click on Baby Yoda, you're going to see that it will be selected as well. So basically, this is the float select. It will select everything within a single mesh that is positioned over here. And we also have the invert select. For example, if I will select everything, the Makita case, and afterwards I will go invert select. I'm going to see that nothing will be selected in this case because everything regarding the Makita case was selected and uh, inverted will mean that uh, nothing will be selected. I will zoom in over here onto the baby Yoda. And for example, if I will go with curve select with the mesh and I will do the selection in the middle, with this selection enabled, if I'm just going to go to invert select, this means that everything beside what was previously selected will be now selected. So this works quite the same like in other um, programs where uh, it will select everything within that, uh, let's say, asset that uh, hasn't been selected. Again, if I'm going to go for plot select, I'm going to see that, again, I need to input and specify what exactly I need to select. And in the case of Baby Yoda, we'll select everything. So that is how the float select works and invert selection. It's quite similar to Blender, for example. So I have the same Baby Yoda open over here. If I'm going to select this and press tab to go with the edit mode, we're going to see that um, if I'm going to press A, this will select everything. So depending on the selection type over here, it's quite the same over here. It's just that in Katia, we need to press Ctrl and A to do that. And for example, if I will select, um, I will do a last selection over here. We see those vertices selected. Over here, we have the possibility to do an invert. So this will select everything that is currently not selected just the same like within Katia and the hotkey will be Ctrl and I for this one. If I'm going to jump back to Katia, we're going to see that the same hotkey will also be available in Katia. So we have um, Ctrl A, select everything and Ctrl plus Y, invert selection. It's just that over here to select everything, we see that it's just A, you no longer need to keep Ctrl pressed. So I hope that you find this video useful. I will position a similar video over here to the bottom. I will add this to the Katia V5 T2 
tips and tricks playlist and also please consider to subscribe to support my channel so that's it thanks for watching